YouTube this is Matt back with another pickups video today this is from uh, this pickup today is actually from a car boot that I went to last week there's also a few local pickups that I'm going to share with you as well some some decent things that I bought some new things that I'm trying as well so yeah I'll go through and I'll show you what I picked up so one of the first things I picked up was this Sony CD Walkman case um, it's in really good condition. The box has got a little bit of shelf wear on it, which is, you know, to to be expected. But um, yeah, that was a pound. So that'll come in handy for when I get another Sony Walkman. So I always like to pick the Walkmans up, and the Sony ones are just they're the top of the tree for selling. So yeah, quite happy to get that one in the box. Doesn't look like it's ever been used. Um, so yeah, a pound for that with a belt strap on as well. So it'd be nice to, to bundle that up with an actual Walkman. So yeah, a pound for that. Um, right, save that one. We picked these up. Brand new and sealed. Mini disc, blank, blank discs. There's four in each pack. So four in this pack, four in this pack. Um, asked the guy how much he wanted for him. He said, "Make me an offer." Says 150. And he accepted straight away. So 75p for that one. 75p for that one. Not massive profit, but probably looking about 10 to 15 pound each pack. So some of the mini disc stuff are quite desirable now. So it's good that they're in the original packaging as well. There is some that are on eBay, and I think they've just been cut out this packaging. So there's just four blanks on there for about twelve ninety nine. so this should be the only one in that packaging on there when I finally get to list it so yeah one pound fifty hopefully looking about twenty five quid maybe thirty quid for those two so not that bad um, right a little tip I always use I mean it's not like a great tip but if you ever see like a box of CDs box of media on the floor with loads of CDs in even if you don't really collect the CDs if you like me I'm always after games and toys and things like that but the amount of times I've looked in boxes with CDs and found PlayStation games because when they're like that you know in a box on the floor with tons of CDs it just looks like a normal CD like an you know a now album or something like that when they're you know when they're all stacked up like that always have a look in because you might get lucky and that's what I did with this one it's happened to me about four or five times I've saw boxes of CDs on the floor and picked out PlayStation games um, didn't really know a lot about this but a PlayStation game like this in a big box for one pound fifty I'm gonna pick them up all day long did look at sold listings it's probably only like about 20 quid but I mean still decent profit you know it's got three discs in it so there's the first disc there's the second and third disc shame it hasn't got the manual if I can find a manual cheap on eBay for a, a quid or whatever which I don't think I'm gonna then I'll buy it and ask for a bit more money but I think I'd probably get about 25 30 maybe if it had the manual but I'm going to shoot for 20 with the best offer and see what I can get. Yeah, so if you do collect games and you see CDs on the floor, have a look in because that's happened to me four or five times now. Um, I went to one car boot and I picked up a Metal Gear Solid um, out of a CD bunch as well. I've picked up a Crash Bandicoot doing that, but that's been a while back. So, yep. Yeah. Um, Right, next one. I've never picked any of these up to resell, but because it was last weekend, I went out to the reseller meetup in Wolverhampton, which was great. Met some really, really good people. Really enjoyed myself. Had a great time. It was a laugh. Everybody got drunk. It was just a great night. And I was really flagging the next day. Don't know where I did it, but I managed to go to the car booth. Um, and one of the first pickups I saw on the car boot was these Guitar Heroes and I just wanted to get off the mark I thought I can't stay here long so I need to start picking things up I've got to get home because I felt rough 
So I picked these up, yeah. One's got all the stickers on it. Comes with like a stickers pack. When you buy them brand new, I think. This one hasn't, it's just plain. Um, never sold these before, but I just wanted, to say, uh, wanted something to pick up, so I just picked these up. Embarrassed myself because I was hungover and I knocked about five or six items off this woman's store. But, yeah, oh well. Uh, so yeah, two Wii guitars and one game, and that was a fiver for the whole lot. I have got another Guitar Hero Wii game. I don't think it's this one, number three, Legends of Rock. I've got another one somewhere because I'll pick them up for like 50p in that. Um, yeah, so I'll bundle one of these up with one guitar and probably ask for 18 quid or best offer, something like that. Might be sitting on them for a while, but I thought I'd try. So yeah, that was five pound for that, for that bundle. Um, right, what else did I get? Right, I'll pick this up. Um, mix match, Ravensburger, but this is a dud. The actual item, the product itself, is not a dud. If you see this, pick it up because this is twenty quid plus. This is nineteen eighty. 1982 this is but there's there's so many Ravensburger old vintage little games like this and puzzles that do fetch good money um, but this has got about three pieces missing I took a punt on it because I think it was only about 50p for this I don't think it was a pound I think it was 50p um, but yeah shame sometimes you know board games and that it is a gamble you don't know until you get back home I'm not prepared to open a box up in a field and go through all the contents I just I can't be bothered so I don't mind for 50p you don't wanna but it's a shame because that that's probably 25 quid that is but oh well maybe I'll keep it and I'll come across another one chances are I won't but oh well. Uh, this is a good one, this will probably go to a collector. Uh, Spider-Man climbs the Tower of Tyranny. I think it has got one piece missing after I looked in there. Um, it's just a play set from 1998 I think. So it's like Spider-Man climbs up there, you pull a few levers and things and get Spider-Man climbing up the wall. He has got the Lizard, the Punisher, couple of other characters in there and I think the Punisher's missing, I think there's one missing. Um, so yeah, that'll probably go to a collector somewhere but I'll always pick up, I don't know if you call that vintage now, I don't think you call it vintage but 1998, you know, it's, it's 20 odd years old so. Made by Bluebird as well, I think Bluebird's the company that used to make the lunch boxes and flasks. Um, so yeah, that was two quid. I'm hoping to get about 20 for that. Or best of that. Let's see how I go with that. But Spider-Man stuff like that, the old toys, you'll still sell them, you'll sell them to collectors. So I'll always pick those up. This is a, a good game to pick up. I think this is another 82 or 1980 game. Perfection. I've sold a couple of these before, quite easy to sell. Um, again, you just got to you just taking a risk, making sure all the contents are there. But the the lady I bought this off at the store, she was getting some games out the boots, and I said, "Oh, how much is the Perfection game?" And she said, "Oh, that's that's my own game from when I was younger. That was um, I want two pound for it." So I said, "Yeah, yeah, I'm happy to pay that." And when she opened it up, she must have checked it last night or in the morning, and she'd actually put all the pieces. In here so I knew it was complete straight away with the instructions as well box is in good, good condition there's, there's a little tear that side but I think has to be expected with something like that but the, yeah that's a good one to sell that is I'll probably shoot for 20 on that maybe a little bit more let's see how we get on so yeah um, right these are not massive profit but I bought them because the woman had two. These are the Busby Toys Double Shot Shotguns. Um, 
like I say, not not a massive massive amount of profit in it. Probably looking about 15, 18 pound each gun. Um, I think I paid five pounds for the two. So, but again, I was walking around that car boot that day. I was I was absolutely wrecked. But um, I just wanted to pick up as much as I could carry and just get back. But one thing to look out for with these, make sure they've got the cartridges inside. Uh, you get the cartridge and then you get the foam piece which fires out at the end. Um, so if you ain't got those, obviously you've got to buy them or just sell it as it is. But yeah, I'm hoping between 15 and 18 pound each on these. I think the Busby, some of the Busby toys ones are a bit more desirable than the Nerf ones. Um, and you can open this up as well and put extra cartridges in there. Um, right, saw these on a store and the only reason I bought them is because I can remember some of the players. I can't remember the proper name of these. I think there's just like souvenir type football shirt, car sticker, whatever they are. They've got the little suckers on that stick on the window. But the only reason I bought it is because, you know, these have got to be like, what? Well, I don't even know, don't even know the date when Beckham left, 2003 was it something, anyway, Beckham, let's put them down here, so we've got Beckham, we've got Solskjaer, we've got Giggs, Cole, Skulls, York, Stam, Van der Heer. So, yeah, I picked those up because I know a few people that have done like, done like man cave slash football caves and like hung shirts up in the background and things like that. So that they'll probably go to like a, you know Man United collector. Somebody who's got like a bit of a bit of a football cave out there. So I think they'll sell. Don't really know what to list them at, but there was like fifty p for all of them. So I just thought I'd take a punt on it. It's always nice to pick up some retro football stuff, even though it is souvenir type, but I thought I'd try anyway while I was walking past and saw them. Um, next one's picked up some plushies. These are quite good. I've started to pick up quite a few Builder Bear now. I enjoy picking them up as well, especially the ones like from the movies, obviously Optimus Prime. Um, yeah, I've seen a few people do well with these as well. It's a shame they didn't have the Bumblebee because that had been a nice bundle. I saw uh, Optimus Prime and a Bumblebee fetch like 30, 30 something quid on eBay. So, and it's got the um, the removable. Just let you turn it inside out. Oh yeah, more of a bear character then. Um, and that just falls away at the back. Do it a bit more neater like that, yeah. So, yeah, it's good that one is. The build a bear tag there on the paw and the Autobot symbol on the foot. Um, that was one pound fifty, one pound fifty, yeah, because I bought two. I'll show you the other one in a bit. So, one pound fifty. I'm gonna try 18 or 20 on that with the best offer because since I bought it I've looked and there's a few that have gone like 15 pound one went for 20 quid I think one went a bit cheaper so but it's it's in really good condition it's been well looked after um, yeah so I'm happy to wait on that I'm gonna try 20 on that um, if it doesn't sell I'll just keep it until I find a bumblebee and I'm sure it will then so yeah that was our okay for one pound fifty the other one which was part of that deal there was one pound fifty each I think there was I think there was two quid and then I said to the guy, would you take three on the both? And he's like, yeah. And Sonic the Hedgehog, this one's a bit more desirable. Um, and the new movie that's just come out as well. So you've got the stamp on the foot there. Obviously, genuine Build-A-Bear. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah. Um, I'm going to shoot for 25 plus on that. And see see where I get it has got a little mark on the paw I 
I need to try and get that out somewhere. See what I can do with that. But yeah, overall in, in good condition. So happy to pick those two up for for three quid. So yeah, happy with them. So I lost those two plushies. Um, what else did we have? We've got more somewhere. Right. Uh, this is actually from today. I went to a car boot today. This whole haul is from last week, but I went to a car boot today and it wasn't very really good for me. So I did really poor. But I am lagging a bit anyway. Um, I think I've got the flu or I've got something coming. So I'm on hot lemon and honey today. So it's always a. Uh, Oh, it seems to help me out, that does. So hopefully I'll be better in the morning. But yeah, pick this up today. Um, it's a Walkman, another Walkman. I don't think that's genuine leather, but fake leather case. The case is actually decent, but I don't think I'll sell it with the case because it's a JVC Walkman and it's a Memorex CD case. So I don't think I'll list it with that. But the good thing is as well, if you can always pick these up these are with the uh, genuine earphones so it has got the genuine JVC earphones um, not as not as good as the Sony ones picking up these I mean the Sony ones you can get 20 30 quid easy so I don't think this one I think this one's probably gonna get like I might list it for 20 but I'm probably gonna have to take a best offer at 15 or something like that JVC hyper bass sound. Um, it was a little bit dirty in the battery compartment, but I have cleaned it as best I could. I will take pictures of it and show it on eBay anyway. But I, I always like to pick these up anyway. They will eventually sell. You'll always sell a CD Walkman and a cassette Walkman, despite the brand. Um, right and. Um, I did a local pickup the other day. There was a woman selling a pair of a pair of Adidas trainers. Must have been her husband's or boyfriend's, or whatever. Um, so I thought I'd just take a punt on them. And I saw these, and she wanted a fiver. She won't go no lower. But they are in really good condition. Adidas high tops, I think. They're actually called Basket Profi or something like that. I found a few on the German eBay, so I don't know if they're like an import, but they're like a green suede material. They need a little bit of a clean up, um, but they're not in bad condition. And these were a fiver. And I told her I was coming to collect them, and she said, uh, I've got some more if you'd like to have a look. And I says, Oh, yeah, okay. Could you send me the pictures over before I come to collect these? And she said, Yeah, fine. So I picked up another two pairs off her. So these was five quid. I'm hoping to get about 20 25 quid back probably more likely 20 or under but um don't really pick a lot of trainers up so i'm just testing the water again with these but yeah in good condition worth a fiver i think those are um and they come in the box as well the box is a bit tatty but it's always nice to get them in the uh, in the original blue box as well so yeah um the next set i picked up was adidas again and these were a smaller type basket profi or profi or whatever again um, a bit lighter green but still green suede a um, little bit of wear on them but not in bad condition again a fiver gonna try for 20 plus on those um, so hopefully I'll get that and I think the better ones out of the three was pair of Y3 so now these are they have been used um, you know got scuffs on them and stuff like that they almost look like a football boot uh, Adidas Y3 now they am a little bit worn but the, when she sent me the picture I had a quick look on eBay I saw a similar pair that I've got a few I mean it's got a few little light scuffs on him and that was worn and it's they got 50 quid for them, so I thought I'm going to take a punt for a fiver on them. I ain't bothered if they end up in the bin for a fiver, I'll just I'll try it. Um, it was only an in whether they are, they are genuine, 
they've got all the all the tags and stuff in there but what i noticed here these these are a local pickup where i'm from in wolverhampton in the west midlands um and they look pretty decent in the box and all that they look quite genuine in there uh, with all the wrapping and stuff inside but what i noticed is he actually came with the tag as well from Le Monde menswear now I know about this store because I've actually been in there and bought stuff myself so I know this is in Wolverhampton um, and it says there ten and a half these were 170 quid when bought brand new so they may be a few years old uh, obviously not worth that now but you know it's nice to pick a pair of trainers up that was once 170 pound for five quid so I'm gonna try and shoot for 50 on those and see where I get hopefully um, hopefully I'll probably get like 30 35 something like that um, but yeah I thought I'd take a punt on it anyway I am gonna try start picking up a few more a few there we go. sorry about this guys I need to have another drink of this because my throat is oh, it's horrible so that is the end of this pickup today so not a massive lot not a um, massive amount of profit in it but for the state I was in I thought I'd done quite well actually I've got a few more local pickups in the week I've got um, I've got in touch with a guy who's selling a load of 80s 90s toys hopefully gonna try and buy a big bulk lot if I can he's got Battle Beasts he's got Star Wars Thundercats Masters of the Universe um, these are the things that I'm trying to pick up the most uh, these are the things that get me the biggest profit um, but they're just few and far between now um, I have actually sort of I have bought some off him I mean we've been in contact for a couple of weeks now and I've you know, said yeah keep that for me I'm definitely going to have it um, can you please keep it for me and he said yeah, yeah I'm going to keep that for you no problems um, but I know there's probably a few other people that have messaged him as well, you know, wanting to pick something up and then they might go there and and, and see what else they can get off him. That's my aim anyway, to, to buy as much as I can so my profits are going to be higher. Um, but yeah, that's what that's what I try and do a lot, um, is just buy the toys and stuff you can see behind you. That's, that's like... 10% of the collection I've got the rest's all in boxes stacked away and stuff like that and some some of it I will eventually sell some of it I'm going to keep because some of that stuff up there I don't know if you can see it in the background that Castle Grey School right at the back that you know that was my own when I was a kid so sentimental value I'm keeping it um, but that that sort of stuff is just going up and up and up in price so that's the main things I'll try and look out for but I've started to pick up all other things as well in between um, to sell yeah, and I'm doing quite well with it so hopefully I'll have another um, car boot pick up next Sunday um, I may be able to go to a few charity shops as well but if I do manage to get quite a lot off this old collector then I'm going to show you a good video about that as well if not I'll just show you the small amount that I picked up that I've already arranged to pick up off him but hopefully I'll have a bigger lot to show you as well but um yeah sorry for rambling on um, thanks a lot for watching the video thanks a lot to all my subscribers um, and hopefully I'll have some more content out there soon so yeah it's bye for now see you later hi guys um, there's another one I forgot to show you this was the last pick up at the car boot before I was going home I noticed this lot on some guy's stall, um, that HP monitor, didn't know anything about this whatsoever, um, but first look at it I thought it's for some sort of CCTV setup, uh, it's a Samsung SVR450, remote controls with a bunch of blank discs, HP monitor, um, came with the instructions and all that, and I just pointed this first, I said to the guy, how much for the uh, the Samsung? And he said, oh, I'm selling the whole lot together, mate. Um, it's got to go together, uh, just want a fiver. So I thought, I don't even know what it is properly, but for £5, I'm going to take a punt on that all day. So 
had a look at sold listings there is a few more of these that fetch a lot more money um, this one unfortunately is probably only about 20 25 pound for that but at least I'm into profit so from a fiver I'm gonna look for about 25 quid on that maybe 30 and a best offer um, but the monitor I'm gonna sell separately as well and I'm hoping to get around 25 for the monitor um, not the best one but you know I'm gonna I'm gonna split these up and I'm gonna sell them separately so hopefully um, from a five pound investment I'm looking about 50 60 quid for that uh, so yeah I just had to take you over to the desk to show you that one because I didn't want to uh, hold that up in the air okay 